The second day of the Virgin Gorda Cup dawned with anticipation in the air. It's the business end of the competition and there are four boats in with a chance of winning the 2015 RCE 44 Fleet Racing Championship title. Team Nika are leading the pack by just one point and with the added pressure of a new tactician on board, clinching the title will be no easy task. Well, the biggest thing that's, uh, that's a challenge with all the teams here is communication. Uh, you know, and when you switch people around, no matter what position, the communication suffers. So you have to have time to get used to, you know, exactly how much you mean when you say this much and exactly how urgent things are when you uh, speak a different way. And uh, that's, that's the challenge. It is crucial to have a good relations a relation with your tactician. It's, it's crucial just understanding and uh, just to understand what he means, not what he says. Yeah, well, for me, there's two parts of what's going on. You know, obviously coming in in a, in a position where we'd like to win the season and we have that slight, you know, one point lead, which is not much. Uh, but we also are, you know, we have a plan to race together next year. And so, you know, my goal is to get to know the team and, and do the best I can for them. The racing today proved to be a real mixed bag, both in terms of results and conditions. Four different winners amongst sun, rain and squalls showed just how close the competition could be. The first match of the day was a two-horse race. The new pairing on board Team Nika clearly working as they fought closely with Team Sarif around the course. Ultimately, it was the Slovenian team that got the first point on the board and the first bottle of rum. Brilliant. <laughs> it was a different story in race two. Sarif were left behind at the start line after hooking the pin. Artemis Racing were first to the top mark, rounding with ease, Katusha in hot pursuit. But on the second beat, Artemis Racing found themselves on the wrong side of the course, allowing Katusha to gain the lead and go on to take the win. Yeah, quite unstable result, but uh, we've been going up and down, and um, one race we won, which we are very proud of, and uh, yeah, it's a good team job. If they had lost race two, Artemis Racing didn't make the same mistake in race three, and cruised down to the finish in style. We had a win, we had all kind of racing, from the bottom to the top, and we were on the top, and we were down to the bottom. It was, it was very hard racing today, with, uh, it was a lot of mixing during the racing, and. Uh, uh, the racing was never over. After a bumpy start, Brunana Set's sailing team won the final race of the day, putting them in third at close of play.